and good morning, everybody. Sorry about that delay. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Paul Tran here, going to dive into today's uh, uh, file news show where we got new stuff going on. So I'm so happy to see you. Uh, welcome if you're joining me on other platforms. And again, thanks for your patience. Uh, I really appreciate you. Good to see you, Jack Watson, Annika, um, Sam Peterson, Kimmy J. What's up? Awesome. Don Marie. I have. Uh, and a uh, cousin named Don Marie. So uh, good to have you guys here. Just dive into the schedule. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late, but uh, uh, we have a lot going on, just so you know. As you can see behind me, uh, we uh, launched Creative Cloud Express, which I'm going to talk about. So we have some live streams on that, so keep an eye out. You can see uh, Claudia's um, little thumbnail above my head. So uh, we also have hand lettering as well. And uh everything so so yes i am live right now so thanks so much for joining me and uh yeah so um also we have editing with travel film editing a travel film with uh just weotech as well so cool uh, good to see you guys here um fantastic so uh that's the schedule it's gonna be awesome this week uh sorry i'm actually 30 minutes earlier than I am usually, um, and uh, yeah, so I'm just glad you guys are here. But let's dive into some news because we have some announcements. All right, and thank you that for that as well. Uh, Cloudy is up next, just so you know. Um, but yeah, so uh, just some things in the news that you need to know about. Uh, Adobe actually, and I'm gonna share my screen and show this to you, uh, but we're in the middle of acquiring a company called Content Cal. I just like letting you guys know about this. Um, just, uh, just because, like, uh, yeah, you need to know about this stuff. Uh, it might not be relevant to you just yet, uh, but it will uh, at some point. So these are just sort of like potential future offerings that we'll have at Adobe. So Adobe to acquire content cal needs to be approved and all that stuff, offering creators new social media planning and publishing capabilities. So this is exciting. All I can do is extrapolate to see uh, how this would benefit us. Um, but I think this would be a good fit for lots of things, for Creative Cloud Express, to be honest with you, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but it looks like, oh, we actually, oh, looks like we update, uh, they updated this. We completed its acquisition of Content Cal. Um, so Adobe customers will soon be able to seamlessly manage social media publishing workflows and products like Creative Cloud Express. Exactly like I just said. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I'm so uh, glad you guys are here. And that's pretty cool, that's awesome. Man, things move fast. Uh, but I'm excited for publishing workflows. Like just make it easy for me. Like let me publish directly to all, um, all the social media platforms that I'd like to. So that is the goal. So, all right, let's zoom back out. That's announcement number one and probably uh, where I'm gonna go next. You know where I'm gonna go. Uh, next, which is right over here. Uh, Adobe.com, do a forward slash express. Uh, Adobe Creative Cloud Express is, uh, um, it was basically Spark, but it's updated with new tools, capabilities. Do you know we have 20,000 fonts in Adobe Fonts right now? It's pretty darn awesome. So um, yeah, and that's available to you right now, which is awesome. I just launched yesterday and I think it's pretty cool. So, so yeah. All right, so there we are. Um, you can see right in here, of course, you can create a new project. You guys know how this goes. I can show off some of the new features, so let's just kind of go up here. I'll just create uh, an Instagram story, right, really fast, and I'll show you some just some real quick things. And again, Claudia's gonna be up next, so don't need to sweat this too much, uh, but I'll go ahead and select this uh, specific design and I'll select this and I love this right here remove background right so if I want to remove the background I don't know what's gonna happen with this image but we could always clean it up as well so selecting that we've removed the background and I can restore parts of it as well so that's what I'm doing right now is like restoring 
parts of that photo that I need, which I think is super cool. Zip, zip, zip. Just like that. There we go. You guys get the idea. Restoring and all that good stuff. So I can click done. You guys get the idea. How is everybody? Uh, I love Adobe fonts too. So like we keep adding a ton of fonts, which is why I usually like to highlight a font. Um, but you know, we're up to like 20,000, right? And I love the feature being able to turn them on and off also uh, within Creative Cloud. So just kind of keep that in mind um, or monitor them. If we go into manage fonts right in here, you could see the previously active. So since there's so many now, um, sometimes you'll be asked to turn off old fonts just so it doesn't take forever to sort of launch Illustrator or whatever. So you can see previously active fonts right in here and reactivate them, which I think is cool. All right, Jan just install installed CC Express, which is awesome to hear. Let's click done right there and uh, apply that cutout and uh, we can move on. Uh, what I showed a couple weeks ago, um, is uh, actually going into download and downloading the PDF, right? And you could download the PDF, right? And open that up in Illustrator. So you could actually have access to the different assets of any one of these templates. And I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, but I'm sure just kind of telling you guys as professionals, that's what you can kind of sneakily do is uh, jump in and access all these assets uh, and things like that uh, by downloading the PDF and opening it up in Illustrator. Cool. All right, Froja, I am doing well. Good to see you here. Gus is in the house. What's up, Gus? Good to have you here as well. And uh, let's move on. All right, Creative Cloud Express. And this is only a piece of it, by the way. So if we go back to, say for instance, you know, the number of projects you have, but if you just click off to the side, you can see you can even create sort of web pages and videos. So let's not forget about that. I think those kind of get lost in the mix. We use web pages all the time. Like if you want to do like a trip report, we would create a, an Adobe um, Creative Cloud Express web page, right? So a standalone web page, you want something more than just like an image, you can use a web page. I think that's pretty awesome. So, uh, and then all these awesome actions. But again, Claudia's gonna talk about that next. You don't need me to talk about it. You guys get the idea, don't you? You got it. All right, Ven's in the house. All right. Uh, also moving on, I think this is really cool. Just kind of threw these notes up here, but also we launched updates or we updated Creative Cloud, oh, excuse me, we updated Photoshop on the iPad, which is super cool. Smudge tool, sponge tool, so much fun that I'm totally going to show you guys right now because I think this is, uh, again, really awesome. If you just give me a second, um, I'll get this party started. Just gotta grab my lovely iPad. So again, I've been waiting for the smudge tool and it's cool to see how responsive and fast it is on the iPad. So that's what I'm like thoroughly impressed with, by the way. So uh, something you definitely need to check out. I'm gonna switch over really fast. Uh, you'll see it here in a second. Let's uh, jump into this. And uh, let me actually switch back really fast. Hmm, I don't know that one. You know this one. You know this one. All right, here we are. Uh, I'm searching back to my screen really fast just to show this. Uh, as I jump into here, you will see, uh, again, I'm just on my iPad. Uh, does it have the shape tool? No, it does not, right? Um, but we also have Adobe Illustrator on iPad as well. So if you're into making lots of shapes, uh, think about using it. We're still working on our sort of uh, cross compatibility with these as well. But let me just kind of show you real fast. The smudge tool and the sponge tool are brand new, right? So we can go into say smudge. That's what I'm going to select. I'm going to make sure this is a reasonably sized brush. And um, I'm going to make sure the strength is cranked all the way up to 100%. 
and I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way so I so I can actually draw. Um, and then right down here, of course, sample all layers. Use pressure for size. So I'm going to sample all layers. I'm going to be on a layer on top there. And then we just can kind of go in and just say, zoo. Like that. And then let's just turn off. Again, we are sampling all layers and we click, click, quickly made something like that. Again, we can go back. I'm not crazy about that V, so let's just go in and do that. Turn off that background. Oh, did I paint right on the background? I might have. Yes. Don't you guys just love the smudge tool? You guys love this? Isn't this very nice? It is very nice. And look out, Fresco. We're coming for you, Fresco. Just kidding. So that's what we have there. We can still keep on our background, by the way. Let's say, for instance, we want to remove color from the background. And, uh, well, then that's when the sponge tool comes into play. We could desaturate. So this works out great. Um, if you take a photo and you, like, have red eye, I'll go in and I'll desaturate that red, typically, in eyes. Uh, but you can obviously see how it works. I'm going to crank this all the way up just so you can see it well. And then we can kind of go in and I'm actually desaturating on that layer, right? Just making it basically black and white, getting rid of that saturation, obviously, right? So now our text can stand out a little bit more or whatever, right? Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully you're into it. Um, yeah. Afroja likes it, that's good to hear. Yeah, so again, super fast, smudge tool, one of my favorite tools on the desktop. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's my uh, laptop, but it's just not, I mean, it's just super smooth on the iPad and I'm just so impressed with it. So please have a lot of fun with it. Uh, I promise you will, because it is fantastic. Okay, have fun everyone. Yes. All right, let's move on. You guys get the idea. A couple other things. If you are ever using a mouse, you actually have the tool tips. You connect, yeah, you can connect a mouse to your iPad if you want to. Uh, and of course, various bug fixes and such. So uh, happy Tuesday too, Bruce Gonzalez. Good to see you as well. All right. Um, I want to move on to some creative work now. Let's do it. All right, welcome back everybody. I'm drinking a mint mocha coffee. That is the coffee of the day, uh, and it is delicious. So there is that. Um, right in here, just to get you inspired, because that's what I need, especially on a Tuesday morning, right? We survived Monday. Uh, but I love Janice Jurek's work. This is called Blue Monday, even though it's Tuesday. Uh, this says is made in Photoshop and Illustrator. But I absolutely like love this work called Blue Monday. Right, and I would like to find out more about this. This project could at least use a little bit more of the making of, but can we just admire how awesome it is and what a great idea it is and how really you can build a career off of this one style. You could literally be the person that uh, owns this style and then everybody else is just ripping you off, <laughs> right? But there's such an, an amazing, cool, like, I don't know, cutout look, right? Look at that, come on now, it's so good. Can we just say, that this looks awesome and I love all of this work, right? So good, so impressed, right? Super cool. Oh, Matthew, you like coffee flavored coffee? I used to drink fl coffee flavored coffee, now I'm on the kick of all the fun stuff. Thank you so much for posting that, Sam, I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I, am, I was inspired by this. I'm gonna show you two other projects since I have a couple more minutes. Uh, this by Rain Look, okay, and let's just click, I kind of want to click on 
from China. This is Meili Snow Mountain. And look at these gorgeous Meili Snow Mountains. So you're going to just see a hint of color, right? Obviously photography, and then a little bit of Photoshop as that sun starts to peek over uh, the mountains, right? And light them up. But look at that. You know, you really just have like a minute to get this perfect shot and it's just gorgeous. So hopefully this inspires uh, photographers out there, people like Paco's in the house. It's pretty amazing. I think it just looks really cool. Um, even taking something ordinary, you know, you catch it at the right time of day. And uh, you know, again, in that golden hour, this is like the golden minute more like capturing these perfectly uh, lit mountains, which I think is pretty impressive. Right, again, I wish I saw the before pictures just so I could see what was added to it, but I think it was really impressive. And again, just search for rain look. And uh, you don't need to because Sam posted it for us. Thank you, Sam. You're awesome. Uh, this 5A from uh, Ahmed Othman, 5A launch campaign. This is sort of a blend of sort of taking photography and giving it a graphic design look, which again, I think is super cool. Very graphic hard graphic lines, right? Bold colors. We talked last week about one of the hot colors of 2021 is uh, orange. And sure enough, we see that uh, tangerine orange in there and just some gorgeous photography, uh, sort of with a graphic design bent, if you ask me. So that is pretty cool from Ahmed Othman. And that's what I have for you to inspire you. So yes, go get inspired by what you saw today, uh, visually, and use those new tools like Creative Cloud Express and uh, Adobe Photoshop on iPad that has updates. Uh, uh, Reverb Mike, I don't know the answer because he does not say if the sun lights them up or if it's Photoshop. So good question. We don't know. Hey, try to do it in Photoshop. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, Jan. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. Appreciate you guys. Claudia's up next with Creative Cloud Express. We're going to dive into some more of that. So that'll be super fun. And I really appreciate uh, you and everybody hanging out with me. And don't forget, ton of free stuff out there that you can grab uh, even from Creative Cloud. But hey, use all those free assets in Creative Cloud Express as well. So thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, we will see you all very soon. Thanks for joining.